Hey, Ophicus, how are you guys? Hope you're well out there. Welcome to Ophicus and me. Appreciate you for stopping by here with me today to see what's going on, what vibe we pick up on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys hope. Hope you guys like, hope you stay, hope you enjoy every single last one of you. Thank you for all your contributions, love and support, old and new, appreciate you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use Signs of the Time. And let's see what Oracle we get. I do Oracle, I do Index, I do three decks of Tarot. Okay, hope you guys all had an awesome day. Today it is currently eleven oh five PM and it's the seventh day in September twenty twenty four. The years is going by. <laughs> Amazing how time flies. All right. <laughs> the bottom of your succulents uh, resilience these are some very strong flowers the number is 38 maybe you're 38 years old uh, or your life path at uh, number 11 and then here you have number 37 maybe 37 and it says bees there's a bee there and community Busy, busy be you could be someone that is um active in your community. There could be a lot of different things going on in your community. You did have resilience uh maybe you're coming up some uh, up against some sort of uh negative energy or negative energy being thrown your way from uh, people in a community or your community or who knows. But let's just read. We have here, it says, as the saying goes, teamwork makes the dream work. Bees work toward what is best for the collective at all times. Working together in harmony, each member of the group acting in the interest of the whole. Build community and get support from your friends to solve the problem you face. You don't always have to do it alone. This card is also a sign of hard work put in by many to achieve a common goal. Become more involved in your community or make an effort to build a team in your work. These teach us that you do not have to take on every role because everyone has their part to play, their unique talents and skills to offer. Invest time in strengthening your network and be open to working with others. Being a part of something bigger than you can be extremely rewarding. There is nothing sweeter than gaining a support system that is willing to put in the work and has your best interest at heart. It says also additional meanings. Creative collaboration. Be a team player. Recognition and reward. Time to come out of your shell. A period of aloneness. Improve your skill set and financial growth from collaboration. So, it's time to get used to working with others and not feeling like you have to do it all by yourself. Or maybe it's just better, like they say, two heads are better than one. Something of that nature. Okay.
the time is here and the time is now. Something has been um, pinging, coming to the forefront. It is time to acknowledge whatever it is. I don't see anyone else but you. Okay. Someone's fixated on you. Okay. Negotiate. Negotiate your wages. Negotiate your time. Negotiate. Just talk about it. Talk through the kinks of the matter, the situation. Something is highly forbidden or being around someone or some something is highly forbidden. Don't do it. Do you need any more confirmations? Hmm, the time has come. Something is brewing. About to start working with someone, particular person, maybe someone in your neighborhood. Um, healing is required. Get out the location card and get to this reading. And you could be from Brazil, maybe, or would like to read it. All right, here we go. 
I just put lotion on. Give me a second. I guess I need a little bit more. Okay. Oh, shoot. I almost burned my hand. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get rid of the other one. Give me this. Okay. So, we have here. OG status. You're not new to this. Just breathe. You are a, an animal lover. You have the special ingredient or ingredients to be an author or you are. You're a DJ or a party starter. Someone's getting ready to get down on one knee. Maybe it's someone in your community. I don't know. They have other obligations at this time though. Maybe they can't commit fully or something I don't know shine they're in their feelings because you moved on maybe that's why they're about to get down on one a professor or a teacher God loves you keep on pushing infatuated all I see is you getting ready to get down on one knee oh my gosh a love like none other listen to your first mind though and someone has a substance abuse problem and is addicted to some things maybe that's why you moved on maybe possibly not too sure but the time is here the time is now right it's time to decide science is your favorite subject I'm so fancy, you already know. That's Iggy Azalea. Took some time. The sun rises each day. So, live. Live in it. They obsess over you a lot. Okay. Courthouse worker. Take it easy on yourself. It'll be all right. I need a therapist now. Show up and show out. The origin of the problem is money. You can have elderly parents. Someone is a widower. Going to lunch or a date. Reoccurring situations. I cannot wait any longer. Falling right underneath, they obsess about you. And a love like none other. Insane. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Who so keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Keep the Lord's laws. Okay. Don't hesitate to make that call. Without a doubt, closure is needed. Queen of the castle, would you like to go? Worried about what others think of you. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Worried about what others think or say. Go to a theater or go to a play at a theater. Don't speak, I know just what you're saying, so please stop explaining, don't tell me cause it hurts, there's no doubt, they miss you so much, oh my goodness, um, what you won't do, do for love, you tried everything, 
But you won't get your girl. That's Bobby Caldwell. You're born between 1965 and 1970. Don't worry. You're a very appreciative person. And you could be from New Hampshire or would like to visit Memphis, Pennsylvania, Boise, Idaho, Costa Rica, India, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, Portugal, Arkansas, or the Bahamas. All right. So since we have here community, working with others, um, never knowing what door is about to open, I'm going to start with here shine and then I'll work my way over here to this doors deck. Okay. Appreciate you. Let's see what we get. First deck. All of this energy on this table though. Someone really wanting to be back with you. I said two heads are better than one. Maybe that's how they're feeling. Um, maybe they're really missing you. Something like that. Let's see what happens. Someone could be needing a therapist. Okay. Um, closure may be needed with this person. So I understand that maybe you are just, you've moved on. Um, despite how they may feel or what's going on. Don't know if it's the same person that wants to get down on one knee or if it's someone else that you're talking to now. Um, I don't know, but listen to your first mind. Okay. And most importantly, so keep it the commandment shall feel no evil thing. So don't, uh, you know, be on the opposite side of what God wants, first and foremost, and um, things will fall in line for you, okay? Alright, so we have here at the bottom, Ace of Wands. So your energy is about action. Things are going um, accordingly to however you see fit, maybe. and Or you have a lot of different things going on, ideas. Okay, you're very passionate about something. Okay, you have all the special ingredients here. Something is about to happen. Someone's trying to offer you some love here. They want to take the relationship to the next level there with the Knight of Cups. Let's see what comes of it. Okay. So, first card here I have a Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. You could possibly just really not be feeling that, okay? They're in your feelings because you moved on. Even though someone is trying to offer you this cup. Seven of cups in reverse. You uh, could possibly be dating someone. Some one person. You've moved on already. You're not... You know, there's not a lot of different options for you. You're not dating around and stuff like that. So with the Six of Pentacles, that talks about working with someone hand in hand. Things uh, going as you need. We're here with the Nine of Swords. Somebody could have betrayed you that you were working with hand in hand, maybe possibly. Okay. 
or you know, um, someone just losing sleep over you, but you refuse to be weighed down with the burden that this person and is trying to bring towards you with just a small page, you know, or that's all the energy they've ever brought or something of that nature. So now they're like ready and you're like, I moved on already. Yeah, you've moved on with the chariot and there's no stopping that. The five of pentacles and kind of left them hanging out in the coat. Because you have a new opportunity. A new opportunity came around for you. Yeah, so that's a completely new situation came around for you. Or is about to. Yeah, the wheel turned. It kept moving. This person wasn't doing something the right way. So closure is definitely needed with this person. The king of swords, they could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? Or you got a new opportunity with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius individual. Here with the Two of Pentacles, so, you know, you um, analyze, you know, time to make a decision, analyze looking at where you've been, where you're at, where you're trying to go, and you let go. And uh, let the next door open and the wheel of fortune turned and that is judgment. You shed your own, you shed, you shed the old skin, you rose to the occasion, you rebirthed yourself, okay, and figured out that, you know, you had to make this decision and um, move on. So now let's see what we get here with the second deck. Appreciate you guys so very much for being here with me. If you're still here with me right now, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, and thank you. And of course, only if you like, I appreciate it all. Let's get here with the second deck and let's see what's going on. So you probably move on to this person has some sort of um, addiction. Um, substance abuse issues. Um, and you knew that that was something that you didn't want to be a part of. Um, they may miss you, okay? Maybe, you know, the things that they were doing was just reoccurring. They never learned their lesson or something like that. Um, so, yeah, you move on. And it could have been someone in your community, or maybe you met someone new in your community, you know. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And the page of swords, so maybe they're, you know, all, like, all in their feelings, trying to see what you're doing all the time. You know, checking up in checking up on and all in your business the three of cups um so this person is either you know like a third wheel or um they're they were a friend or you you're going out with friends or something like that Trying to stay balanced, or maybe your friends are helping you stay balanced at this time. Getting things off your chest. With the Six of Pentacles again. And, and entangled with someone else's energy. Here with the Five of Pentacles again. Um, or maybe like this person always had third party energy going on, you know, and uh, you just were like, I can't deal with this anymore. You know, you need to balance out your life. You wanted to work with them or you felt like you were working with them, but it just wasn't working. So you had to, you had to move on. 
you weren't feeling any sort of um, advancement or something. You felt lack when you were in their energy. So you returned that energy back to them here with the eight of wands and moved forward. And now things are moving for you. And people are seeing that, you know, uh, that things are going great for you. Like I said, someone in your community or something. I'm not too sure. So here you have the moon now. Um, which speaks about things that are hidden. Um, or maybe someone in your community sees you, you know, and all of what you've been through or something like that. And you don't have a clue who is observing you. Okay. Interesting. Um, let me get one more deck. Okay, give me a second. All right, here we go. Some sort of new offer is coming your way if it hasn't already. And I don't know if you're worried about what other people think or say because this is someone in the neighborhood that just lost their wife or something like that. Yeah, the widower. I don't know. Here you have a Knight of Pentacles. Could be somebody that's very secure in themselves or an Earth sign. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or a um, Virgo. With the Four of Swords. So, uh, that talks about resting, you took your time to rest, uh, all while this person wants to reconcile with you. Took your time to rest and heal. Five of Cups. You knew that you weren't going to be in a situation where you weren't going to be with someone. You, you just knew that this person, it wasn't. It wasn't your person. They weren't your person. Aren't your person. So you reframed, you pulled back, you went into your own space to heal with the hermit and the four swords. Because you saw something different. You know, you you saw yourself climbing and growing and um excelling and growing past so ultimately whatever it was fell apart fell apart and you started to look uh with a magnifying glass there to see what paths could possibly be for you now or you know some new path you know it's just like you just knew that where you were it just it wasn't for you so uh yeah two heads are better than one but this particular individual who is obsessing over you is not the one and you know that so you continue to do what you do and uh thrive and shine and um yeah closure is needed don't worry about anything let it let it fall so the next thing can flourish all right, guys, until next time, I'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye.